My name is Brooks Kimmel. I work at the Kennedy Space Center. I'm a prime contractor for NASA, and my field of work is environmental safety and health. I've worked in that field for several years and actually recently got reorged into a position where I'm in charge of the training and employee development for the same contract and doing a lot of the safety and technical work to oversee the, the work that they do. What will you be talking about today with our uh, applied ergonomics attendees? I'm going to be talking about how NASA overcomes a lot of the design and human space flight, uh, the, the challenges that are there. Early in the NASA days, they simply designed a capsule or they designed a, a location for the astronauts to, to work and it was designed primarily with the flight itself in mind. Today, what we're starting to do is do a lot of research. We have eight different facilities that are dedicated completely to human space flight and the human factors and the, I guess you'd say the ergonomics and the safety involved with that, the risks, and trying to mitigate those increasing the, the workability space and things of that nature. Uh, and then the nice thing with NASA, that what I hope at the end of the day they all walk away with, is that the stuff that we do at NASA, because it's all taxpayer funded, is actually available to others. And so it's basically free R&D that's available for others to use and to implement into their workplaces. Uh, what do you hope that attendees walk away with from your presentation uh, or also with uh, this conference? Well, it's interesting because when you come to speak at a conference of this nature, you're really preaching to the choir. The people that are, the companies that are sending their people to something like this are already doing the good things in terms of ergonomics. Uh, so the, the difficulty is getting the message beyond the people that are here. And uh, the hope is, is that as the people here pick up one or two nuances, uh, nuggets sometimes they call them, they can take those back that as they interact, network with other people in the field who weren't able to be here, that they can help them understand how they can use some of the stuff that was presented here in, in their uh, places of business as well. Is there anything about this conference that you're looking forward to, uh, a session or a speaker or anything of that nature? <laughs> well, one of my uh, favorite things to, to see is the Ergo Cup. Uh, last night I got an opportunity to go around to all the different uh, booths and, and the people were so excited to share uh, the innovations, the new ideas, uh, the return on investment of the various things that they have designed to make work better for their people. Uh, designing, I guess you'd say, the, you know, the, the, the job for the people, not the people for the job. And so it, it was really an exciting time. That's always my favorite thing about the conference. Terrific. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week, and we certainly thank you for speaking. Thank you very much. Some more companies do have limited R&D budgets, uh, especially when it comes to ergonomics. One of the things that NASA does, and actually is mandated to do, because we use your tax dollars to do the things that we do, is we have to come out with um, ways of sharing with society the stuff that we have available, the stuff that we've discovered. We have two different publications that you are able to get to anytime, and you can use that for your own personal R&D. You can look at the things that we have, and you can take that information and then find ways that you can use it for your industry, for your people. One of them is called Tech Briefs, and the other is called Spinoff. It's interesting, I speak a lot at elementary, high schools, colleges. One of the talks that I do is called Spinoff Technology. And one of the questions I often ask people at the beginning of the talk is, how many people here think that we spend too much money on space? Inevitably, 85% of people raise their hand. 85% think we spend too much on space. I go through a whole talk on spin-off technology. And at the end of the thing, I ask them, how many people think we spend too much on space? And at that point, well, about 1% raise their hand. Because a lot of people have this misconception that all the money we spend is just to send a stupid rocket to space, and basically you put a billion dollars in a capsule, and once it gets into space, you just release that billion dollars into space, and it all just goes away forever. It's really not the truth. Everything we do, ends up providing benefit back to society. My daughter had a condition called SVT, I don't know if you're familiar with that, supraventricular tachycardia. She was eight years old, she nearly died. They did heart surgery and saved her life. After the surgery, I was at the Cleveland Clinic and the doctor sat down and said, you work at NASA, don't you? I said, yes, sir. And he said, 
Well, that's interesting because almost everything that we use in this technique and procedure today was developed by NASA, for NASA, and is now benefiting society. Spin-offs, tech briefs, are two of the tools that we give the public so that anybody can have access to R&D that we're doing and find ways to use it in your industry. I encourage you to go to those, find those, and use those. Um, the ideas are amazing. And some of the stuff that, the, again, Apollo 13, if you ever saw where Tom Hanks gets all angry because they said, oh, your heart rate's getting pretty high. And he rips the shirt off and pulls off all the things. And I'm tired of the whole free Western world looking at my body stats. That very tool is actually one of the tools that they use to save my daughter's life. It was developed out of necessity. They needed to be able to track the health of the astronauts when they're a long, long ways away. They do the same thing today with those little monitors that you can wear and the little pads you put on. It is truly incredible, and I encourage you to go there and find out this information.